So today's video is going to be about a special webcam, one that is intimidating to look at at first, and also one that is genuinely really good. So today we're going to look at the Rockware RC20. This webcam is amazing for streamers, and I'm here to tell you why. Let's dive right in. The exterior design consists of plastic, but don't let that distract you from the fact that this webcam is incredibly heavy. It comes with a base with rubber feet, so it is meant to be placed on a desk contrary to other options, but it does have a standard threaded mount around the bottom, which is really helpful for hooking this up to an arm, which is exactly what I did. So when you feel this, it feels very hefty and more like a security camera than a streaming camera. But believe me, this is a great streaming camera, and we will talk about that very soon. So when it comes to specs, we are looking at a 1080p resolution camera with 16x digital zoom and 10x optical zoom. From its base, it can also be rotated to almost a full 360 degrees, but that's just almost. You can even tilt it up and down if needed, which is really helpful. It features a 58.8 degree field of view, which isn't really that wide, but it's definitely good enough for me as well. This webcam is so beefy that it requires two USB cables for it to fully work. I think that one is to power the base and the other is probably for the webcam itself though. Now, what I do like about this webcam is that you don't need any drivers to work with it at all from what I have seen. And it does even come with nifty remote to make those rotation adjustments and even zooming in and out very easy. This is really cool because I've been able to make adjustments on the fly with a ton of flexibility. These controls are not readily available on a bunch of other options and that's pretty nice to see with this one. But now let's get onto the actual video quality. So does it look good? Well, it does. It looks pretty good, actually, but the image does look fairly processed, so it does still look like a webcam, but definitely a high-end webcam. It's not the same quality that you would get from a mirrorless or DSLR camera, in, sp in spite of the huge size of, of this unit, but the image quality is pretty solid. It's even got some customization options through the remote itself, but you can also use software if you prefer, and I think that this is what really adds to the value here. Not having to fiddle around with software in combination with the video quality itself, it's even pretty good under low light conditions, which a lot of webcams do struggle with, and this knocks it right out of the park, for sure. Okay, so this word here is going to be a video sample of what this webcam is going to look like, uh, particularly in low light. Like, I do have an Elgato key light uh, pointing directly towards me, but I'm actually going to go ahead and turn that off in a moment uh, so that I can go ahead and prove a point about how well it does in and low light, even though there aren't really that many lights turned on around me. Uh, but I would say that this webcam is definitely pretty sharp, as it is, and it, it does capture a decent amount of things around me. Now, some things that I can do with it, like some adjustments that I can do is, for example, just rotate it in one direction. They can actually go pretty far. You could actually see a good chunk of my room and the things that are behind me. And uh, same with uh, how messy my bed is and everything over on that side, which isn't really all that pleasant to look at. You can even see my key light and my script over there. So it is pretty cool that I can rotate it that much. And if you guys want, you can actually take a look at my TV over there and even my ceiling. So I could give a full tour of my room with this webcam if I really wanted to. Or, if you wanted to have a look downwards to see what's down there, uh, you're just going to find my keyboard over here with a uh, piece of missing leather, I suppose, and my, my loop deck and that kind of thing, which I do use for editing. But anyway, with that aside, uh, I would say that the adjustments that you can make with this remote and this webcam are really cool. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn off this light so that you can uh, see things a little bit I suppose in low light so let me just go ahead and there you go I would say that it's really not not so bad at all I think that in low light you can still capture a good amount of detail especially in the background you can see quite a few things so you could see my figurines back there and I do have a graded Final Fantasy card as well uh, and my my collection as you will be able to see back there but with that said uh, this webcam I think is pretty good and I think that it does a really good job as it is whether it's in low light or with 
uh, with an actual key light turned on and that kind of thing. I think that it, that it does do a pretty good job. I am pretty overexposed on this side, but that's something that you can work on still in the settings if you really wanted to, because you do get settings through the remote itself. So you don't have to use software, you can just stick with this, which is pretty cool. So to conclude this video, I really liked this webcam, but it is expensive at around $277. For that money, however, you will have a tough time finding a Sony A5100 with an HDMI to USB converter and the lens. So while it, it used to be a very value-oriented solution, those cameras have really skyrocketed in price which is what makes a camera like this have much better value. It's a powerful option if you wanted a setup like that, but needed something more, I suppose. I can strongly recommend this webcam as long as you can afford it, but still keep your eyes open for other solutions, as will I. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end. It is always very much appreciated. And hopefully this video does help you in deciding whether or not you do need a webcam like this. Uh, it was a very useful endeavor for me. Now... Uh, do know that you can also follow me on Instagram where I do post every now and then and you can subscribe to this channel for more content just like this uh, Though we do focus more so on gaming content like uh, gaming reviews or virtual handouts and other kinds of handouts and that kind of thing But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching and until next time. Enjoy